27 Investigates is looking into an increased number of runaway calls from a children's behavioral health hospital in Trumbull County. First News reporter Nadine Grimley requested reports outlining the number of times police have been called to that facility. She breaks down what she uncovered new tonight at 6. Within the last seven days, Liberty Police have been called to Belmont Pines Hospital seven times for children who left the facility, and on two days were there twice for the same issue. We've had some issues with runaways. Take Thursday, for example. Police say two juveniles took off just before 8 p.m. We have two kids that just jumped the fence and they won't. They both returned about a half hour later, but about 30 minutes after that, we have three kids that just AWOLD again. Again? Yeah, again. The children took a dangerous route across I 80. Someone driving on the highway called 911 to report it. Three kids just came across. I think there was a trailer park over there. They just come running across the road. I almost got one of them. That's extremely dangerous. That's dangerous to everyone, from the child to the motorist to the police officer responding. A public records request revealed that so far this month, police officers have been to Belmont Pines 10 times for at least 20 runaways. Now, some of these are the same kids that return, that go back up. Records show one boy has taken off at least seven times this month, five of those within the past week. Compared to last month, when officers were there six times for runaways. And today, while we were working on this story, a child police were looking for ran back to the hospital. Police Chief Toby Malaro says they plan to meet with the administration at Belmont Pines on May 11th to present some ideas for solutions to this problem, including fencing and better locks. Um, we need to work together to resolve this issue because it needs to be resolved. In a statement, Belmont Pines CEO Kathleen Stein says they are looking into the incidents to see if there are any improvements they can make to the facility's security procedures. In Liberty, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.